Hey, welcome back to the Solution Center. Today we're providing you some solutions on the new A2L refrigerant. So it's the last week of July 2024. Equipment is on its way to us. Today we're here with Tom Robinson. Welcome, Tom. Thanks for having me. We're out in the shop. We've got both refrigerants here today. So Tom's going to kind of tell us what you need to know to get started when you walk into a branch and you find out the only thing that's available is the new equipment. And that beginning with the refrigerants themselves. And so you can see we have the R32, which will be our Dyke and Amana Goodman refrigerant, and our R454B, which will be what will be used for Bosch and some of the other lines as well. So Tom, we've got a couple things going on here. Mm -hmm. um, really excited to talk about this overall. Definitely. Awesome. So Tom, it looks like there's going to be some changes with the new refrigerant, starting with the physical appearance here of the tanks. Can you kind of walk us through that? All of our R32, uh, R454B, A2L refrigerants are going to be required to have this red marking on top of them, and that's just to let anybody know there might be some extra safety precautions they're going to have to take when working with it. So. So the first thing we'll notice about our new A2L refrigerant tank is that we have a left-handed thread pattern on the nozzle. So we'll need an adapter or a refrigerant hose that hooks up to that left-handed thread. So once you get that left-handed thread adapter or refrigerant hose lined up and placed on, it's a little bit different to do because we're not used to doing it that way. Then you can go ahead and connect your standard refrigerant line from an R32 manifold set. Now on the manifold set you'll also notice the pressure temperature relationship of R32 and R, uh, R410 is about the same because R32 is one of the primary components. However they are slightly different and you're going to want to make sure that you get the correct manifold set. So you're saying in addition to the red stripe you're not going to be able to confuse an A2L tank with a traditional tank because you have to thread it left, yes. lefty right, or lefty tidy basically. Correct. Okay. And they do that specifically for that reason. Gotcha. It's the same thing that we find on our acetylene tanks. For our torch kits, on the acetylene tank we have a left-handed thread for that hose. And it's specifically to prevent us attaching that to an oxygen line or something. Sure. So we'll see on our refrigerant gauge, the pressure temperature relationship between R32 and R410 is pretty close, but we do want to make sure we use a standalone gauge and we're reading the correct pressure temperature relationship for the refrigerant that we're using. All right, and then coming within the next few weeks, once we get the sensor off of the coil, you've put together a live fire demo unit here. Yep. Uh, can you kind of tell us what all we have here as far as uh, your demo unit and how does that applicable to our A2L conversion? So we have a standard Dragonfly uh, furnace integration kit. Okay. So you can connect a an R32 air conditioning system safely to a furnace that was built before A2Ls came into play. Okay. <clears throat> We have that connects to a standard uh, Honeywell T-Series thermostat. Gotcha. A standard gas furnace, pretty okay. control board, and then to our outdoor unit air conditioning. All we're waiting on is there is another sensor on the evaporator coil that we're gonna be able to plug into this. Okay, once we get the equipment you're saying? Correct. Okay. Once we get that equipment in, and what this is gonna do is once it senses a refrigerant leak, uh -huh. it's gonna turn off the heat, it's gonna engage the blower motor to dissipate any refrigerant. Make okay. sure we keep our home safe. All right, so we're gonna do a deep dive into this here within the next couple of weeks once we get our final pieces, but we wanna kinda of give you a preview of what else we'll have to come to keep you up to date with the whole A2L integration.